If you have a hackberry tree and the leaves have started to fall off already, or you're noticing these little tiny white objects on the leaves, you may have a problem. <laughs> Amy Dismix from the UTTSU Extension Service is gonna tell us all about the woolly hackberry aphid. Mm -hmm. This little guy really likes the hackberry and sugarberry, which sadly, oh. or maybe well, but uh, this is a really popular tree in the Tennessee landscapes uh -huh. and forests. So we have quite a bit of them and they usually kind of edge the lawns. This one has just totally, this tree mm -hmm. is full of them. And what you yes. may know on your cars, your furniture, is the sticky little residue they leave behind. Mm -hmm. And you're just yes. thinking, what is this sap doing all over my car, mm -hmm. right? They are sap suckers. So what goes in liquid comes out liquid. Right. If we want to think about it that way. And it's sticky. Yeah. So that's part of the big problem. And then that sooty mold comes along and sticks oh to it. The darkness that you can see the difference between some of the leaves that haven't necessarily been affected. But look, they're even in the spider webs on this tree. I know. There's an infestation they're building for sure. So what are we, why are we seeing the leaves drop so soon, me and Amy? Well, they tend to, uh, with the sooty mold that builds up on the leaf surface, it blocks the sun from the green tissue, uh -huh. which means decreased or no photosynthesis, which is food production. So a weaker leaf is gonna fall. Gotcha. So, so that's also one of the reasons why you say we shouldn't try to treat it right now. Right, with the end of the season coming on, it's best to probably wait until we know these trees are actively drinking from the soil if we're going to use some sort of systemic insecticide uh -huh. like a drench, okay. uh, which is usually really the best recommended practice for these because they're such large trees. So that's in the springtime. We'll mm -hmm. want to treat these in the springtime. That's right. But in the meantime, it's not necessarily killing our trees. No, it's just causing a real nuisance for everything below them. Yes, it is. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well, this is all very great information. You have a, 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 a regular newsletter that you put out. Right. And this one is going to be on this particular little pest. This is on the Asian woolly hackberry aphid. It will be with the Franklin homepage. Okay. And we mm -hmm. will make sure we put that information at newschannel5.com if you'd like to learn more. Very good information about these little white guys that I see floating around everywhere. <laughs>